All right, playing a little bit of Feudal Your Own. And I just made this character and just started this dedicated server. As you can see, I'm starting here on the beach. All right, um, let's see here. Um, that's weird. It's got the... Let's see if that's... I started my own server, I thought. Maybe I joined the server. I thought I started my own server. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I'm just kind of starting off a character here. I'm at Sleeper's Forge, it looks like. On the beach. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, looks like I'm way down here at the bottom right hand side there. Right off the coast here, so I don't know if there's any clay anywhere in here, but that might be a good spot to settle. I'm not sure about where there's some clay up in here. This is just the standard map that comes with the game too. Nothing special. Ooh, is that an apple tree? It looks like it might be an apple tree. We're gonna, yeah, it's an apple tree. We're gonna gather apples, mass produce, that'll give us some food. Alright, my inventory is kind of opaque, but that's how I have it set up. We're gonna equip this too. And we got two apples so far. Let's see if we can do that again. Mass produce against some more apples. said something but it's gone now okay first things first we need some tools got some food got a little bit of food so that should last us a little bit we need some tools so we need to find some rock area here Beach and see if we can't find some rock somewhere. We need rock to find flint stone. We can gather some fibers and then we'll just get some sticks from a tree to make our tools. And it'll be our basic tools, and we'll start with that. I'm kind of liking that little area right there. It looks like it might be an open valley, so I might want to head that way, actually. That looks like it might be cool. Ooh, hit that wrong tab. Okay, let's see here. Get some more apples. Mass produce. I bought this game, it's on sale for one more day, today and tomorrow, for 40% uh, off for $11.99. And, uh, 
it's pretty cool. I like it so far. I've enjoyed playing it for, I don't know, I've probably played it somewhere around six, seven, maybe eight hours, maybe a little more. Um, I have some stuff on a, a server that's pretty cool. Um, I have two dedicated servers that I don't play on very much, really. This one that I just started and another one that I just goofed around on just to get the gist of the game to kind of get myself seated into the game and kind of know what buttons were what and such like that. But uh, it's a fairly interesting game, although this particular version does not have any hasn't been patched since October of last year I believe it is and that is due to the fact that they are supporting more the MMO version than they are this version but this is still for sale on Steam which is cool means you can play it which is good I may get the MMO version I have no clue as of right now but gathering all these apples is great because I'll be able to make traps for uh, catching rabbits and chickens, which will be good. And I think we've reached our clearing area. So this is where I think I'm going to build, which is close to some stone. Um, I'm not seeing any, any type of clay, but there's got to be clay somewhere. But this is an open area. This could be a great spot to build right in here yeah nice little open area could be good plot little spot right here put some gardens and some farming areas and yeah I'm liking that but I need clay to build my houses um, that's the easiest way to do it so I need to search for some clay so let's see here Let's look at the map as close as we can get and see if there's any clay anywhere. The closest clay I think I've seen is right here and right here. That's a little ways away. There's got to be a spot where there's some clay. There's clay here, but there's... That's just... There's an open area there I could run to and then I'd have clay and rock right there and there. Um, otherwise I think I'm going to be running quite a far ways of a way to find clay unless there's any other spots I want to go to I mean as soon as I build a cart going a little bit farther won't be a big deal but man I could trek down here and then I'd be within this distance of this rock area right here and this clay right here but yeah maybe that's what I'll do I'm not sure here I think I can get away with making buildings without clay but clay is used for a lot of different things Hmm, dilemma. Or I could settle on this beach where there's clay and rock right there. Or I could go over here, which will be a trek. I'm looking here. Wow, that's cool. Little watery region. This area is great. It's got rock right up in here. It's got clay all over the place. And it's a little valley niche. Same thing with this. There's rock right here and clay. And there's a valley niche. That's not too far away. Right here though is pretty cool looking. Uh, it looks like it's a little valley. And there's rock up in here. There's rock right over here. And then there's the clay over here. So you know I think... I think I'm going to head that way and maybe either start right here or right here. I kind of like that spot because it's a little farther than niche away. And I could always build a road to that clay which would cut down my travel time. Um, I 
They're a little bit bigger areas too. Well, the one, well, they're both about the same as this one is. But I don't see any clay over here. If, if I did, I would settle right here, but I really don't see any clay. And I think that's the farthest I can scope in. That's too bad, because I could settle right there. Well, we might as well get our trek on. So let's see here. Let's see here. I've got a few apples, and I've got bread. So that's going to be good for that. Um, I'm probably not going to want to travel through a lot of mountain area. So... We're probably going to have to take the long way around. Well, I could go through these woods. It shouldn't be too hard. But there's some hilly, mountainous area that might be even harder to get up going through there. So, um, I think we're going to have to go to the beach and make the long track around. Maybe we'll find some rock up in here and I can make a few, like, uh, tools and such. Looks like this won't be too hard of a trek if I go this way, so we'll head this way for now. My strength is at 15, which is not very high. Intellect is 12.01, so I have this game set up so everything is um, default minus I put decay at zero, so if I build stuff, it won't decay, and I put um, animals at 20 instead of 10, so there'll be more animals, and um, I did that because this is going to be just my little private server for me to goof around on and have a little fun from time to time when I'm a little bit stressed out from my other ones, and I want to just chill, and oh look, here's some rock. Alright, here we go. Alright, we are going to do flint and mass produce that. We're going to gather up quite a bit of flint if we can. And we're going to try and make all our primitive tools. Excuse me for burping. Alright, we just gathered what we could. We're going to do a little more gathering now that my stamina is back up. Uh oh, what do we got here? Let's see this. Let's get the map off. You stretch your numb and weary shoulders. You feel like dro dropping everything, but you're not accustomed to quitting halfway, so you get back to work. Oh, I like that. Interesting. Getting some flint here. Quite a bit. Uh, found nothing. Okay, let's see what we have. Seven. That is enough to make a saw. So we're going to need some more. So let's go somewhere over here. We're going to need probably about... we gonna want like 20 or so of those so we can make all our starter tools and such and have a little excess to make um, extra tools for when our tools break because they will break especially because they're primitive and they don't have much, much durability and they'll be low quality and they'll break quite quickly for, for us doing work. 11 12 okay all right uh, let me see here inspect how much more flint is there it's not saying any flint it's saying the rock quality is 10 so if I wanted rock I could make other tools from the rock like um, 
if I had a pickaxe anyways, I could get the rock from it and I could make like a, uh, a, oh, what is it called? It's a, uh, like a bowl for cooking, like a cooking pot. Um, I could make a mortar and pedestal. There's a few other things. I'll be showing you that in this video, so I'm just kind of getting all the basic stuff up here. Found nothing. Found... Alright, we're going to keep searching here for flint. I might want some sling ammo because I can make a sling and that'll help me take down wild animals and such if I need to. But I think pretty much the only thing I will probably try to take down is like a grouse or something. Anything other than that is going to be a little stressful to try and take down. Hey now, quit that whining boy. What are you doing in front of the couch whining, huh? Mr. Mr. Okay, 19. That should be good enough. Let's get back on our truck here. At least we got those. Hey, quit your whining and lay down. We're going to go right over these hilly areas and head straight towards that area that I want to get to. What do we got here? Oak. Ooh, some nice oaks. Let's see here. Let's inspect them, see what quality they are. 96. Holy moly. I want some sprouts off that bad boy. Oh, I don't have enough skill for it. Oh, let's snap off some branches, though. That is a tree I would like to mark with it being so high quality. But it's too early in the game for me to mark it. And that's, that's funny. The first tree I check is a 96 quality tree. We'll take all the branches off of it. So that'll be good for making our tools. I think I can get 20 of these branches. Which is what I want. Yes, boy, I love you too. What are you doing, huh? But, yeah, I love you too, boy. Alright, that's going to be the last branch, I think. Maybe not. How many branches are on this thing? Quite a bit. I think that's good enough. Alright. Alright. So we got enough branches and plant. We could probably make our tools if we pick up some fiber. Alright. We're going to head this way. We might encounter some wild animals around walking through the forest area here in hilly areas. I don't know, we'll see. We'll probably hear it before we see it. Here's another apple tree. Oh, maybe not. It's a mulberry tree. Let's see here. 
I should expect that. All right. No. Huh? I can't grab the sprouts. Must be I don't have high enough skill for that yet. I haven't played very much of this game, so I'm still quite new to it. Uh, although I do have a character with quite a few 100 skills already on um, a server that I play on. But uh, I still don't know that much about all the skills and such. Speaking of that, I want to set some stuff here. Let's see here. We'll leave that all how it is for now. Got a few more apples. Oh, here's some more. Oh, hit the wrong button. Here's some more rock. Let's grab a few more flints just to be safe. That way I might not have to go looking for them later. If there was an, another thing you want to be, you don't have to be close to water really, but um, I like being close to water for fishing. You can dig a well and you'll have water for that, but hopefully we want to turn this way. Alright. We're getting right close to where we want to be. Once we get there, we'll start working on making tools, and we'll start making stuff to make a shack. That'll be our first priority, is to make a shack. And once we get the shack made, then we will, uh... I wish I had a horse. That would be awesome. But I don't. I'll have to find one and tame it with an apple. And I only know that because I heard that's how you do it. I've never actually done it. Which is why I wanted to play on this dedicated server. Because I kind of want to do things myself and learn and have fun doing it. It's nice to have help from other people. Yeah, it's nice. But sometimes someone just wants to do something for themselves. And that's kind of why I'm playing on here. Because I want to kind of do a few things for myself. And I want to figure out what it's like to go from beginning stage to the further stages, like, on my own and see what I do and, and uh, what I can do. Getting some more apples here. Let's look at skills. Okay, right now, you can turn skills off and everything, you'll notice skill cap is 604, so that's the total amount of skills I can have. So I might want to, like, uh, cap off some of those skills, like say, if I didn't want this if I wanted this to go down or if I wanted to lock it at that or whatever but for now I'm going to leave them open you can only have so many skills so that creates a variety of people to play and together they can create um, a whole village and have different skill sets to make the village work properly alright we're coming up on our spot here we're about there. It's right over here soon. I can see it in the over here, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool, like a down in a gully kind of thing. It's gonna be interesting for sure. Alright. Right there it all is. 
That looks perfect. It looks good enough to use. There's some hilly areas around and such. And up this way, which you can see, here I'll show you, with my arrow key up this way and up here, right there, I don't know if you can see that, I'll uh, zoom out and zoom in here on it. That little slit right there is clay, so clay is nearby. And we've got rock here and rock over here and rock up in these areas, so that should be good. So. I'm going to look at this area real quick. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to look farther down this way into this one because this will be closer to the clay and the rock. And I just want to see how it will look. I might just build in all both areas and see what I can build. Ooh, this looks interesting too. Looks like a wider space. Not too wider, but it's interesting. Oh, sleepers, tongs. Okay. And as you can see, down there is the beach. I think we'll settle right here because this is closer to rock and closer to clay. Either way, both spots are pretty good. Alright, so let's see here. Where do we want to we want to map this out? So where do we want to build our house? Let's pull up F3 and see the general scope of the area here. Alright, so it looks like it goes down over there and it goes across up that way a little bit so I think we're gonna do like an 8 18.5 maybe and then uh, we'll flatten it from there maybe that well right in there there's a lot of 18 threes and 18 fours this over here though has a lot more 18 fives so let's start here all right first things first we're going to go to nature, gather fibers, mass produce. We're going to need quite a bit of fibers pulled up and we're going to make, we're going to start off with uh, a few of the basic tools, probably one set of everything so we have everything made. And let's just clean this inventory up a little bit. Alright, I got that. Looks like I got quite a few apples, so... There we go, that looks pretty good now. Oh, I can't see, I'm 50, let me see here. Let's make that, okay. I want it just right there, that'll work. There, I can see my numbers now, 58 out of 130. Alright. Now, it's July, so it's prime time to start something like planting um, and all that kind of stuff for harvests. And I can plant and plant and grow, plant and grow, plant and grow as much as I can until December hits. But uh, that'll give me some time to get some of the stuff done I need to get done. But first things first, we're going to build a shack. Once we get the shack built, then we'll build a farm plot and we'll get started on food and fishing will be a great source of food when we're close to the water so I want to build a fishing rod there's gonna be several things going on but I'll just let you kind of watch and uh, I'll explain it as I go as you can see this is a little time consuming but I don't have to do nothing hands free just let it go it'll go until it runs out of stamina And as you can see, my strength and intelligence is going up from doing this. Alright, there we go. Take a breather. Now, I have need for food and my hard stamina is low. So I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to eat an apple. 
and now I'm gonna sit. That'll do my hard stamina up, which is this lower uh, number right here. My hard stamina will go up. That apple didn't fill me very much, as you can see, so I'll probably have to eat this. Bread. 50 quality. I kind of want to hold off on that, though, until I'm a little bit more hungry. I don't know how much this will give me. I think it'll give me 50 because it's 50 quality, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to waste any of it because who is going to be precious at this point in time? Alright, there we go. Alright, now we're going to make some tools. We're going to go with primitive tool. We want one of these. So we're going to create one of those. We're going to want a fishing rod for catching fish. Ooh, gotta hit my alt button. Fishing rod. We'll make one of those. Hey, settle down, boy. Quit your whining. I don't want to hear you whining. Alright, now we're going to scroll over here. Hammer. Uh, I will need a hammer. So let's make that. We're going to make one of every tool that we definitely need. Which is pretty much going to be everything but the tools that you make with rocks. I'm not going to make those offhand because I won't need those particularly just yet. They will come in handy later though. I think... Uh, nah, I'll grab the pickaxe. I'm gonna have to grab more fiber though. Alright, now let's see here. The last two or three are gonna be these three, and I might make a sling too. Because, and maybe a torch. I might need a torch. Alright, so here's most of our tools. Oop, I'm equipping that. I accidentally equipped it. Oh well. Alright. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's get a little more fiber. Gather yeah, some plant fiber, mass produce. We're gonna need probably a good 20 of that, probably. Maybe 14 would do good, but as you can see, we still have a good amount of flint. But that's going to be used up making the saw. The saw is the most, it takes the most flint. And you're going to use a saw a lot when you're building too. So, especially if you're building something big. So, that's something that once we get to make tools, we'll want to do. Is make uh, some saws. Not primitive tools, but actual tools, is what I was talking about. Alright, we're... Okay, I think that's... A, we're going to let this go one more time. Okay, now we're going to stop it. Alright, we're going to open this up. We're going to go to primitive tools again. Scan down to here. We're going to make one of these. As you can see, it takes seven stone, three branches, and three fibers. And that's going to take a lot of our flint stone. That's why I wanted to get so much flint stone, because I knew the, the, the primitive saw was going to take so much. Uh, let's get this map off here and read this. Uh, you raise your hands to scratch your nose and notice the nobly wart sitting right between your fingers and awkwardly placed. You should have get rid of that. You put a mushroom and tie it to your hand or catch a grasshopper. There's saliva can remove every fiendish growth from one skin. Oh, I left. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I haven't really read much on those, so. Alright. The shovel, you'll probably go through the most because terraforming but they're only one one and one per cost in terms of materials so that's not too bad 
and then the same thing with the um, primitive sickle. All right, let's see how much a sling. Let's put this over here because I want that over there. Sling is ooh ten fiber. All right, we're gonna want a sling probably, but I think I'll hold off on that. Let's hit T and I to get our inventory. We've got our hatchet. Uh, let's put our saw there. Uh, let's put our pickaxe there. And we'll do our hammer for now right here. Um, actually, we're going to switch the pickaxe with the shovel because we're going to be using that to begin with. All right, now we're all set. We're equipped. Now we're going to hit F3 again and bring this up. Uh, tab to turn that, close that, and then tab out. Now we're going to get right here. We're going to lower the ground there. Now that's going to give us dirt. Ooh, a little glitchy. Alright, we're going to go right here and we're going to lower the ground. We need a 4x4 four four area, but I'm going to go one stretch out and do a 5x5 five five area. That way I have one circumference around. And because we don't have a whole lot in our inventory, we should be able to do this decently. One thing I will want to do though, before, this is going to be 8-6 actually, now that I think about it, I almost forgot. We're going to get try and get some rock and uh, pave the bottom. Well, we could save that for later, I guess, but if we pave the bottom of these and they'll go up by one point or point one it'll be 18.6 then if we do that then uh, the grass will die and we'll have no grass coming through the floor <laughs> and I don't think you want grass coming through the floor all right let's see here let's go over here we're gonna hit E button on this which should fill this in once We're gonna step over here. Oh no, we're not. We're gonna step right here. We're gonna do this one. As you can see, this is not too hard. But you will go through shovels quite quickly doing this, especially with primitive tools. And now I'm walking a little bit faster because I'm getting rid of some of that soil. Step here, get some more out. If I had some skill food, I could really get this going, but alright, let's see here. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna grab from this one, we're gonna lower this one. This should be relatively easy. Grab from this one. Yes, Buford, I I hear you, boy. You're being a whiny butt. Quit your whining, Mister. No need for it. One more lowering. We're going to have a section pretty quick here. Once we have a plaster hut, looks like we only need two more spots to fill, which are right here. And we'll have it all set. Once we have a plaster hut up, um, then we can start building things like... Well, 
Well, we can't build this chicken coop yet because we gotta find iron and get nails made and all that kind of stuff. But chicken coops are nice and so are rabbit coops because you can breed rabbits and harvest the leather and get the meat and the bones for glue and all that kind of stuff. Alright, now we got that set, we're gonna do this so we know where this area is. We're going to flatten it. As well uh, as you can't build unless there, the land is flattened. So. Alright. We're going to go two by two sections all the way down. Simple, simple stuff. Next thing I'm going to do before I build the shack is I'm going to go mine some uh, rock. Which will be tedious because I'll have to drag the rock over here and I don't have anything really to carry the rock other than my person. So, uh... It might be a little bit time consuming, but once I get enough rock to pave this and build my first shack, I'll be happy with that because it'll take away the grass. And I might actually want to do a little bit more uh, flattening here because I want more than just the 4x4 area I've already done. I want one circumference around it and I want to actually put pave or pave that with the stone as well but as you can see this is not too hard I think once I get this paved though I'm going to take a break from doing any other thing besides finding some kind of food source which is going to be using my fishing rod and maybe cutting down a tree or two to make a campfire because I'll need a campfire to make food so I can cook some food that way I'll have some food when I need it because I'm getting pretty hungry right now and all I have is the bread and the apples and those apples are not going to sustain me But at least we'll have this plotted out. So we'll be able to find it. Bingo. All done. A house will sit on this. A plaster shack house will sit on this. But for now we're going to check out. Let's see inventory. See if we got any dirt. Okay we do have some dirt. So what we're going to do. Is we're going to flatten this tile. Actually, we're not going to flatten it yet. We're just going to fill in these other tiles with the dirt I have. Put your wine in, boy. And we're going to eat that bread. Good. We didn't waste none of that bread. We're at 90, which is close to 99, which is all we have room for hunger is 99 is the top you can get, so. Alright, there we go. Now we got that little plot, and we kind of see where it's at. So let's go, let's head this way and go fishing. So if we're going to go fishing, we're going to take off the saw, and we're going to put the fishing rod on. That way we can fish. And as you can see, that fishing rod is pretty tall. Next, after we fish, we will collect some wood to build a, a campfire. And we will uh, get the campfire set up so that we can actually do some uh, cooking that we will have some meals so we can stay full that's the first objective that I want to do 
after I got that little spot planted out there. What do we got here? Oh, that's just the tree. Quit your dang whining, dog. You bit out. Now quit it. You're out before I started, so don't even start with me. You just want to go out to go out, and it is 2 in the morning. You're not going out. Ooh, got tired. Ooh, my hard stamina is down one. Alright, we're by the beach. I think I have this set on ultra settings, but I'm not sure. I might have it only set on uh, high settings, but that's this is what the game looks like on whatever settings I have it on, which I think is just, I think it might be ultra. So, yeah, I think it's ultra. So this is what it looks like on ultra. Did I catch anything? No. Let's see here. Inventory. Let's sort this a little bit. Hopefully we'll catch some salmon. <gasps> Excuse me. Quit your wine, mister. Let me see. What's your problem, huh? What's your problem? What you whining for? Huh? Ooh, we caught something? No, we didn't. Oh, don't you get me, turd monitor. What you doing? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah, you just want a little attention, didn't you, you turd? What? You got, you know, your nails are long, boy. I need to clip them, dang things. Don't claw me. No. <laughs> Settle down, you knock my computer down, I'm gonna whoop you. Settle down, boy. X, settle down. I said settle down. Quit it. Quit it. I'm not playing with you. Stop it. Sit. Good boy. Oh, did I catch anything? No, I didn't. Alright. That's great. I didn't catch nothing. What's my hunting at? 1386. Uh, might take a while to catch something. If I catch just one or two fish, it could potentially give me a good amount of food.
I noticed I haven't caught anything. Next opportunity I want to do is probably make some snares then. If this is not going to work, I'll make some snares then I can cook some rabbit or chicken once I get them. I should have done that before I did this. Then I could have killed two birds with one stone. Especially when all I have is apples. Alright, let's go up this way. Inventory. Let's let's eat one of these, see what it does. It only gives me two. Or three. It gives me three. That'll be enough for now. We're gonna plant some snares. So we're going to need so, to gather some, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, fiber. We need about, we need 10 fiber for each snare. I have enough sticks, um, so I don't have to pick any of those, but we'll make probably two or three of those. We might make more, maybe four or five, that way we can get a good amount going. And it's still light out, so we'll sh we should catch something by the time it gets dark or something, or before it gets dark. Alright, we're going to plant our snares right by this big tree. That way we know where they're at. So, we're going to set right here. We're going to get on here and we're gonna go gather plant fibers mass produce I could search for some berries and stuff too I might be able to get those and get some hunger up too so fiber and do five traps. I think it's only two sticks so we'll have enough sticks. So.
time consuming. <laughs> While that's doing that, I'm gonna get some Sprite. some berries see what we get out of that maybe we can get some hunger up Let's see what the berries do I've never really done this except for maybe once and I got one berry I think there's several different ways to gather food it just takes a while before you get anything Two traps. Two traps could suffice for now, but I want to do more. hunting craft I have apples and my fiber and my branches so we're gonna craft one of those we're gonna craft one more Now you want to set these a little bit away from where, oh, I don't want to do that, oh, okay, a little bit away from where you are actually doing anything. So I'm going to plant, put one right here, so we're going to go down to hunting, set snare. That snare is set. We're going to step over to this tile, we're going to set the snare real close to the other one. Uh, that way they're easy to find and we're gonna go walk away from those we're gonna go over here and we're gonna start building again hopefully that'll get us some food now we gotta find that area we were working on which I think is right over here somewhere I think it's right over here somewhere we should find it relatively easy Is it over here more? No, it's over here somewhere. No, it can't be over here. This is all... Was 18. Okay. Right there it is. Okay. I was going to say. Okay. Now we're going to go back to inventory and T. And we're going to put our saw where the fishing pole is. Now, we're going to start off with just doing more of the terraforming. So, we're going to grab from the bigger spots. And we're going to fill in the lower spots. Until we have one more ring around this. And as we go, we will actually flatten that so it's all set. That's flat. We're going to flatten that. We're going to 
step here. We're going to take this off this. Uh, right here, lower. Flatten. Stop your whining. You always do this when I play games. It's baloney. Any other time you're laying down sleeping. The cat's being good, why can't you be good? Huh? Call it. It's actually fertile soil. I don't know what quality is, but you can grow on it. pick up more than that. And we can pick up till we're close to 200, so let's uh, keep uh, taking this up and make one trip. What's I going to put up there? We're a little overburdened. Not too much. Now we're closer to 200, I think we'll leave it right there. We'll do this, we'll flatten that, and then we'll walk over and do that. Now I don't know how long it'll take for those traps to be set and catch something, but it shouldn't be more than a couple hours, I would hope. I'll have to check them every periodically and see how they are doing. That'll at least give us some food. And that's that'll work. We'll save the apples off for the those we can hold out until then. Hopefully. I still got fifty-eight, so Make that 57.
here. You want to flatten this out. Now our perimeter is set up, except for all the way that way and all the way that way, so we're doing pretty good now. We don't have too much more to do, we'll have a good spot here. I should probably make some kind of shoes or something. I know I can make that. I can make cloth. I can make some... Oop, we don't want to do that. Oh yeah, we do. He falls flat. on paving this. It'll make it easier to be seen because there won't be growth here. Because once it's paved, then the grass will die. So we'll have to find some rocks, harvest them. My artisan skill is going to be 36 soon. Alright, we're loaded with some dirt, so we're gonna come over here and empty it off into this. Now, if I want to, I could pour it all on the ground, but that would lump up one spot really high. So I'm just slowly working and terraforming, so I could make a mound of dirt if I want to and just dump it in one spot, but I don't want to do that. I want to use it for terraforming. This will be good for making rows for chicken coops and stuff too and whatnot. So we'll keep doing this. We can jog over here now. Grab some of this up. Come on, click. 
it looks like it's getting darker. Yeah, it's getting darker. We're almost finished with this. We're gonna go check on our snares once we're finished with this. And hopefully we'll have some kind of food we can make a campfire and sit there. And we'll just need some billets and some branches and finish getting another square section off another row at least widthwise this way from there to here we'll have another row I think this one up, don't get our dirt put where we need to put it, and that'll give us another roll, we'll flatten that real quick, alright, and then we'll go get us some billets and stuff to make a campfire, settle down boy. one off of this, lower it, and we can do that whole row. I'm surprised my shovel hasn't broke yet. Now that I said that, it might just break. We'll see. As you can see, we got all that terraform now. Now let's look. We've got two more dirt piles that can be used. So we'll just beef this one up. Crickets are starting. That's it's getting dark. Check those traps real quick. Should possibly have caught something. Might not have. Uh, 
Nope. Heavy cotton there we got. What's that time say on that? Time. Hour and 42. I wonder if that's how long it takes to catch something. If that's the case, we better get something built for a campfire real quick here. And we're gonna grab some apples off this in case we need to just eat apples like crazy just to keep our health or our hunger from going to starvation and stuff. Seven apples, that's a that's good. Let's eat some of these. We can save some of them for traps, but we're gonna eat some of them. Get our hunger up. other apple tree. See what we can get off of that. Well, we've been playing, and we've set, we set those traps probably about 18, 20 minutes ago, so it must be a two hour timer to catch stuff on it. Look, we got seven more apples. We've got 31 apples. Let's, while there's daylight, let's, or some daylight, let's look for more apple trees. I bet you that area over to the right there is all the flattened area that we flattened. from this spot if it's going to be dark like this so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a tree and make a campfire so we have some kind of light oh good there's a bunch of apple trees here this is a perfect spot then I've got apple trees already here lots of them too one apple off that one. Looks like there's a baby apple tree too. Oh, these are all empty. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, 
I empty these? Damn, these are all empty. They're apple trees alright, but they're empty. How are they empty? I didn't empty those. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's cut down this tree. Alright, we're gonna go to... Artisan Cut Down Tree. And we're gonna take this tree back to our campsite and we're gonna build a campfire. Or, well, I guess you could say our campsite. I'm gonna say our uh, flattened area where we're gonna build our house. We're going to get rid of that stump while we can. Alright, now we're going to lift this up. Drop this right here. Drop. Alright. What the heck? I must be glitching. Oh, uh, let's saw a villain. That unglitched me. <laughs> That was kind of weird. Five. 
we'll do this last one to make the campfire. Start the whole thing over again. It's a kind of a slower loading game, but all right, um, create a world, log, start. Sorry for this, I didn't think this would happen, but every now and again I guess there's glitches in games. Which this has to load the whole server again. I could have just played with the glitch, but I didn't want to. I'm gonna cut this if this doesn't load soon. Because it's probably gonna take a minute for this to load. Always remember, like is futile. Didn't never happen to me on the, the server I play on, so I wonder if I just have old server data if it needs to be updated or something. Or it's just uh, something I ran into the one time, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Quite a few people are playing where I play too.
I don't know how long this is gonna take to load, guys. So I'm gonna stop.